is your first Alert 5 weather with Mike Daniels. Great to have you with us here on News 5 at 10. That's a live look downtown Colorado Springs. We've got cloudy skies from Stratton Meadows to Palmer Park all the way to Flying Horse. It's mild right now. Last hour we were at 28. The Chinook has kicked in, so 10 degrees warmer right now than where we were just an hour ago. 21 degrees in Pueblo. That's probably about as cold as you're going to get. I look for temperatures actually start to come up a little after midnight tonight. Live from the hill. Look at that wind out of the west at 23. That's pretty common ahead of a Pacific storm. And there's one just off to the west of us. Here's the big weather story. What's going to happen around here tomorrow is a little bit of a change. Not a big storm by any means. This cold front going to slip through here about mid morning tomorrow morning, then push from north to south. It'll kick up some north wind anywhere from 15 to 25 miles per hour. So not a lot of wind in your forecast and a few snow showers as well. Models have really backed off on our snow here across the area. In fact, we'll be dry most areas at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning by 10. Northern El Paso County, Western El Paso County into Teller County. A little bit of light snow. Most of that will stay north of downtown Colorado Springs and also south and southwest of Pueblo. Again, a few passing snow showers really should do it across most areas. Maybe just a little window dressing for Christmas in some neighborhoods. If you're lucky in Pueblo, a trace. Maybe an inch on the north end of Colorado Springs. Could get an inch across northern El Paso County. One to maybe two across parts of Teller County. Wet Mountains, Sangre de Cristos, anywhere from one to possibly four by tomorrow evening. Cold start in Pueblo this morning at 9, recovered up to 38. Colorado Springs, not a bad day, 44 today. That's a little warmer than where we should be this time of the year. Outside right now, updated 10 o'clock temperatures. It's mild. We've got that downslope flow starting to kick in, so you can see temperatures on the mild side in many areas. La Vida almost at 40 degrees right now. Overnight tonight, temperatures not near as cold as the past few nights. It's a product of some of the clouds we'll have out there trapping a little bit of that heat that we generated today and also that push of breeze mild air ahead of that Pacific storm. Temps tomorrow, there's no Arctic air involved with this storm. It's a Pacific storm, so really not bad for this time of the year. Want to wrap this up with one of Mike's fun weather facts. Winter, if you're scoring at home, winter starts at 302 Monday morning. First day of winter, you get nine hours and 26 minutes of daylight. Now the first day of summer, you get 14 hours and 53 minutes of daylight. So on Monday, the first day of winter, about five and a half hours less daylight than what we'll get on the first day of summer, but now that winter is on the way, days are going to start getting a little longer. That's always a good thing in my book. In the springs, how about a warming trend just in time for that last weekend of Christmas shopping? There's your first day of winter. We'll welcome it with a warm air mass. High 56 degrees, even a little warmer on Tuesday. Then a strong cold front barrels in late Tuesday night by Wednesday. There's your taste of winter right there. 28, but feeling colder with the wind blowing. Pueblo chilly, breezy, unsettled tomorrow. A couple of passing snow showers possible, but it's one and done. No more snow opportunities through Christmas, so no white Christmas this year. Weekend is going to be dry with sunshine. Winter rolls in mild on Monday. Then that strong cold front by the middle part of the week. Canyon City, a few snowflakes tomorrow. Nothing disruptive at all. Last week into fall brings in sunshine, some mild air. It's fall weather you can really fall for. Winter gets off to a warm start Monday, even better Tuesday before temperatures fall off dramatically on Wednesday. Woodland Park, snow tomorrow an inch, maybe two inches across some parts of Teller County. Could see some slick spots on some of the roads by afternoon. You'll be in meltdown mode Saturday and Sunday. That next cold front rolls in by Wednesday. Cold stuff, but feeling even colder than 21 with that wind blowing. Rob.